What's up everybody, I'm Matt Farah. Welcome to the three-part series from The Smoking Tire entitled, How to Improve Your Performance with a Factory Tune. And what we have here is a 2001 Volkswagen Jetta VR6 with 166,000 miles on it. it. Hasn't been serviced in a really long time. And what we're gonna do is we're here at Adams Motorsports Park. We're gonna run it on autocross. What was that? Uh, I had that guy drive the car. Where's the car? Uh, He's gonna be doing the laps. Well, you. I don't know who took the car, but uh, why don't we check out the dyno numbers first? Come down to Vaca Performance and Dino, Downey, California, and these guys have uh, it's a beautiful race shop down here. They have lots of horsepower sitting over here, not so much horsepower sitting right here. And we're going to find out exactly how little horsepower uh, is going on with this Dino. We're going to do wheel and crank horsepower, and uh, these guys are hooking it up for us, and then we're going to go to the track after. The question is, is if it hasn't been serviced in a while, how much power has been lost? So, Jason. Yeah. When was the last time the car was serviced? Oil change a month ago. Okay. Everything else, I mean, spark plugs like two years ago. So. All right, so a while. while. Yeah. So oil change recently, but everything else kind yeah. of a while. Yeah. All right, so it could go either way. And just to be sure that uh, the shop can't be held responsible, we have a, I promise I won't sue you if my engine explodes because it didn't, because uh, it wasn't maintained properly, waiver. So hopefully we won't need that because I can't rebuild this thing from scratch. Yeah, it is. How many miles are on the car? 166. 166,000. Uh, over a period of time, it'll degrade. Yeah. The only things that are going to really wear in it is going to be the piston rings. Yeah. And that's going to be your cylinder pressure. You lose cylinder pressure, you lose horsepower. And that's not really something that's fixable. No, that's at where home. like that comp restore, or whatever yeah. it is, it, it fills in the cracks or whatever. Yeah. Um, that's where you're going to lose the cylinder pressure is horsepower. You lose it. Wait, you is there the something I can put in the car that'll that'll mm -hmm. fix that? What's it called? Uh, it's called compression restore. Oh really? You just pour it in the gas tank? Pour it in the oil. Oh, we should buy some of that. History. <laughs> yeah, you couldn't drink a cup of coffee by then. What's the damage? Oh, no, I'm just taking a snapshot of it. You can see the other, this one right here is uh, 156. Okay. 156, 149. The hotter it gets, the more power it's going to start losing. Okay. So, that's it, guys. All right, there we go. So, max power, 160. All right, so you've Not lost fifth, lost 15 after 166,000 miles. Can't complain to that. No, we're going to see if we can kick it up a little bit. We might be able to. Take matters in your own hands. Keep that car running better, longer. Do everything you can to make sure a small job doesn't turn into a costly one. And AutoZone is the one place with the expertise and tools you need to do the job right the first time. Because do-it-yourself doesn't mean you have to do it alone. Get in the zone. Auto zone. I later found out that the producer felt the only thing faster than a car around the racetrack was a stolen car around the racetrack and intentionally had the car stolen from underneath me just to ensure I didn't sandbag on the first round.
phrase drive it like you stole it really holds true here, as our car thief managed to smash the Jetta into a tire wall, and it took us over three hours to repair the bumper. So I had to do my lap at night. That idiot in the blue suit stole my car and then proceeded to crash it into the tire wall, so I had to drag him out of the car and beat the crap out of him a little bit and uh, take my car back. I have never driven this car before, and I have never driven on this racetrack before. So, that should make this very, very interesting. It's also dark, and wow, the brakes suck. We're gonna need a bit of, uh, a bit of braking uh, adjustments here if we're gonna actually wanna run some decent times in this thing. Hot lap starts now. A lot of tire noise, using the curbing on the back. These tires suck, they are squealing like a pig. Uh, way early on the brakes for the chicane there, it's okay. A lot of understeer out of this Jetta. Factory tuning is, is the way to get understeer, and we've got plenty of it. Oh yeah. I'm, by the way, I am terrible at autocross. But I'm hard on it. In through the chicane, onto the back straight, power understeer. <laughs> <laughs> That's fun either way. Coming up on part two, we put some power, braking, and handling back into our Jetta.